I'm Sammy J, and this is my world. <laughs> Basically, I started music by accident. I was posting video clips on YouTube with my mates and my rugby shot. Not much has really changed. Um, <laughs> and I wish I get some of the sunshine on this sunshine. I was lucky enough to be picked up by a label in Hawaii, a group called Kolok Hekai. Saw some of my stuff on YouTube, and basically from that, I was able to uh, meet up with them and sign under one of their labels and start recording my music. And I guess from that, it trickled over here to New Zealand, and then I ended up signing on with Dawn Raid, so that's basically my rise to fame. I didn't know that I was singing reggae when we were singing those video clips. Oh, I know it's time to go back out on, on the road. And I the reggae, something that we all listen to as Polly's, like we all grow up on, on Fiji and and Patti and, and all those earlier um, island reggae groups. So it's always been my intent to add value um, to what it is and bring something new to the table. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my first single that I released, the video clip was Fall In Love and this is the exact spot <laughs> where we filmed the video clip. And basically when I moved here, I moved into this area and so I wanted to, I guess, pay homage to the place. It holds a lot of history for, for Māori and, and Pacific Islander people. I guess not many people would want to put this place in their video clip, but I think it's really cool. It's home for a lot of our people, so it was awesome to be able to shoot here and bring in people from around here in the video clip as well. One of the most important things for me that I was involved in last year was the Samoan Victim Support. We did a concert over there to raise money to build a new house for the kids. the Samoan Victim Support Group, basically focused at raising awareness for young Samoan kids who have been affected by abuse. And it was really special to be involved in that and hear the kids' stories and to be able to meet them firsthand and to hear the terrible things that happened to them and also be able to um, raise money for them and to have a new place to stay. When we become musicians, you work for your, your fans and your people, and you're like a counselor. You comfort them when they're broke, when they get broken up, you, you're there for them when they're partying. So you gotta remember that that's your role and that's your duty. And, and so being able to connect with a, with a crowd or with your fans is probably one of the most special things about um, creating music and, and performing live on stage. Do it all the time. 